Okay, so we've found the expectation and the variance of any random walk, in particular the simple random walk. But for the simple random walk, we can in fact go even further and write down the exact distribution for the simple random walk at any point. And the key to working that out is going to be looking at the number of upward steps. So let's look at that. Okay, so let's let yn be the number of steps upwards in the first n steps. Number of steps upwards in first n steps. So there's two important facts that we're going to need about yn. First important fact is that yn is we've got n chances to take a step up, and each time we take that step upwards with probability p, we've got n opportunities, each of which is a success with probability p. So this is a binomial distribution, parameters n and p. You should remember the binomial distribution as being if you do n experiments and each is a success with probability p, then binomial np is the number of successes. So just to remind you, the distribution of a binomial distribution is the probability that yn takes some particular value. k is n choose k, that's the binomial coefficient, n choose k, p to the k, 1 minus p to the n minus k. Although, of course, we were calling 1 minus p, we were calling that q, weren't we? That's p to the k, q to the n minus k. That's the binomial distribution. We can write down its exact distribution, which is what we've done there. Second important fact. If yn equals k, what does that mean? It means we've taken k steps up. And so all the other steps we've taken must have been steps down. So we've taken n minus k steps down. So where have we ended up? We've ended up at xn, and it's the k steps up, counting as plus 1, and the n minus k steps down, taking as minus 1. So I've gone up k, down n minus k, to get to k minus n minus k, which is uh, 2k minus n, if we expand out the brackets, isn't it? So, putting these two facts together, we have the exact distribution, which is that the probability that xn equals 2k minus n equals n choose k, binomial coefficient, p to the k, q to the n minus k. Note that with the simple random walk, after an even number of steps, we, know we end up at an even position. And after an odd number of steps, we end up at an odd position. If you think we go something like 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, if you notice that always swaps between even and odd. Because if we're at an even, we go up or down one to end up at an odd. And if we're at odd, we move up, up or down one to get to an even. So that's what that 2k minus n number is there. Right, that's always has the same parity as n. If n is even, that number is even. If n is odd, that number is odd. Um, just because probability xn equals 2k minus n is, uh, is a bit kind of awkward. Let's call that i. So let's say i equals 2k minus n. Uh, and that means that uh, k equals uh, n plus i divided by 2, doesn't it? And it means n minus k is equal to n minus i divided by 2. So if we substitute that back in, perhaps a, a nicer way to write it is the probability that xn equals i equals n choose n plus i over 2, p to the n plus i over 2, q to the n minus i over 2, and that's when i and n are the same parity. They're both odd or both even. Uh, the same parity. Both odd or both even. 
and obviously i has to be between minus n and plus n because that's the biggest or smallest you can possibly get in n steps you could go up every time and get to n you could go down every time and get to minus n so those are the conditions they're kind of obvious but we perhaps ought to write them down and so that is the exact distribution of the binomial distribution of the simple random walk using the binomial distribution. Okay, that's the end of this section. And in the next section, we'll be looking at a, a gambling problem based on the simple random walk.